Best friend didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drift in the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you? Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. Each and every high, every night with you. You and me so clueless. I want to start this video off by saying Eid Mubarak to every single one of you guys that are watching all around the world. Alhamdulillah, Ramadan has been completed as of tonight. By the time you guys are watching, this is probably already going to be Eid or maybe like a day after Eid. This year we completed 30 days of Ramadan and Alhamdulillah has been the 29th. So the whole world, the whole world as a whole is celebrating Eid al-Fitr all together on one day and not like some people on one day, some people on the other day. You guys ever have those moments in Eid where it's like you don't know what the heck to get your family because so many of you guys are different? Well, say less because I have a solution for you. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have those moments on Eid where you guys are so confused, you have no idea what to get your siblings or you have no idea what to get your family. So typically what me and my family have been doing for the past like three Eids, I think it's been three Eids, yeah, we would write down a list of things that we want and we'd give it to each other and it makes things like 10 times easier. It makes it way easier so that way you can just look at the list and I can like pick and choose what I want for my sister and stuff. So Alhamdulillah, I got my sister some stuff. Um, unfortunately, some things didn't come yet in the mail, but uh, I got to run some errands. I just pulled up to Target because obviously in order to present a gift, you need a gift bag. And what do they have at Target? They have gift bags and gift wraps and stuff. No, but I think I think my mom has gift wraps at home, like the gift uh, like tissue thingy. So I just need to go in there, get some um, gift bags, inshallah for the family. I just realized that the gifts that I got for my mom and my sister, well, I got two things for my mom. I got her a couple of masks because she really, really loved the nominal masks. So I bought her those masks. And then I got her like this abaya from Niswa Fashion. But there's like a couple other things that I ordered for her online that didn't come yet. And also same thing with my dad. I got him this dopey from Sugar. Um, like this Kofi hat thingy that he wears and it's the only one that he wears and unfortunately I tried contacting Shooker and they said that they won't be able to send it for Eid But it'll probably the shipment will either come in today Which is a very slight chance or maybe tomorrow So uh, I was like, okay I need to get him another gift so that when everyone's opening up their presents tomorrow It's not like he's just sitting there without anything So Target came in clutch and I got him like this tiny little mug that says best dad ever now Even though my dad is colorblind. <laughs> I'm hoping that he can tell the color if he doesn't know the color I'll just tell him Baba this is like the color of the sky. My dad has like this Pakistani habit I think it's like a Desi thing where like he drinks milk every single night with a pinch of turmeric and a lot of uh, um, Ispagol. I think Ispagol in English is like Xylem's husk or something like that. I'll put the name up over here. So he, he drinks his milk every single night He tells my mom or he tells me to warm it up his milk So he never had like an official mug that he drinks his milk in so this is gonna be Baba's mug from now on. <laughs> Pretty sure I've mentioned this in previous vlogs, but like nowadays children are so obsessed with um, the idea of Halloween and Christmas because they get candy and they get gifts, but we need to normalize giving gifts and making Eid like this gigantic, gigantic, massive Muslim holiday so that tomorrow's generation will be excited for it every single time that it comes, you know? Like I remember myself growing up when I, it's so dark. 
I don't know, but, and I was going through, I remember myself when I was growing up, for Eid, Eid was like the most funnest thing in the year, and I always looked forward to it. It was like we would wake up in the morning, eat some dates and some like milky dessert that my mom would make, like I think it's called sewia or something, right? And then, um, after that, it was like me and my dad would get ready for Eid Salah and then we would go for Eid Salah and uncles are giving gifts and then we go invited to like other people's houses and to try to make it even more fun and make it even more lit for the little ladies and the babushkas. For the little babies and the babushkas. So my family, we have this tradition where we hang up a moon like so and underneath it, we're gonna put all of the Eid gifts. We're gonna move that table and this is gonna be a little Eid corner underneath like the moon and the Eid Mubarak sign and stuff and it's gonna be lit. That way your babies and your babushkas, ladies and the babushkas, won't complain about not having a Christmas tree because they have an Eid moon. See, so it all works out. Shout out to Zudo for sending me that also. I have to find a place in my house that um, I can hang this up. I don't know where I'm gonna hang it. Or maybe I'm gonna take it to my new apartment in Dallas. Did you like your gift? Give me a hug, man. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. How are you? Good? Yeah, you're doing your eating. Good? Yeah, you're doing your eating. everyone we just got home from the Eid Salah the Eid Ga, and I took off my turban because like dude it was getting way too hot and I would probably develop anyway we got home opened up the gifts alhamdulillah everyone is like so happy but I want to show you guys what I got and what my sisters got me so like I told you guys last night me and my sisters we gave each other wish lists and this was one of my like top top products that I really really wanted for such a long time primarily number one because it is from Gymshark, as you guys can tell. And you know your boy loves, loves Gymshark. It's his favorite company. But anyway, um, this is like a duffel bag slash backpack thingy that's extremely versatile. And I know that I'm going to be using it a lot in the future because of like travels and everything. But it doesn't just stop here. Like this is just, this is just, the outside doesn't do it justice. Or maybe it does do it justice because the outside just looks just as good as the inside. But it has two handlebars on the side and on the inside this is primarily used for like a travel thingy but i think on the gymshark site you can also use it as a gym bag like you can detach these these are little tiny compartments that i put inside but you can detach that and use that as like a gym bag which i probably most likely will use it for a gym bag I, uh, inside my sister one of my sisters gave me this tafsir quran book that i've been wanting for a long time this is by dr mustafa khattab such a such a good book i'll probably link it this down below if you guys want to check it out it's a nice tafsir book and then second book second book <laughs> i wanted this book also for a long time and my sister got it it's all about it's from justin baldoni if you guys watch the show it's called what is it called by jane the virgin right jane the virgin amazing actor and he talks about undefining masculinity like there's so much wrong that goes with how men view masculinity today and this book just kind of debunks it all it has testimonials on the back from whoop, it has testimonials on the back from people like sean mendes jay shetty like a whole bunch of people that i look up to also that's that and then it's got some nice little other jolly things like this candle that smells exactly like the Moroccan oil that I use for my hair. You have like your own little tiny fancy um, zippers here and there. And then you have a nice zipper compartment over here, which you can access on the inside. If you're trying to access the stuff from inside the bag, you don't have to go from the outside. You can just go from the inside. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be using that 
for all of my travels, like all my gym stuff in there, my books are in there. It's huge, it's a huge bag. Yeah, but next week, me and this little lady over here are going to be traveling to California. Thank you so much for the bag, dude. Yeah. Thank you so much, but yeah.